So for this project, I'm going to build a Hackintosh. This is a set of Intel-based hardware that you can tweak using OpenCore so that you can install the Mac operating system. So this system, I'm going to be installing uh, the Big Sur version of the Mac operating system. So here I'm going to be using the Intel i9 10 core processor and a one terabyte M.2 solid state drive. So next, I can install the heat sinks on the two sticks of 32 gigabyte RAM for a total of 64 gigabyte. And get the motherboard installed in the case. This is the retaining clip for the CPU cooler. Next, I can get the CPU cooler ready to install. So the Radeon 5700 is the one I actually ended up using on this build because it was uh, more compatible. And this is just a brace to hold the graphics card from sagging. And time to get everything plugged in. And let's see if we can get this thing to fire up. Well, it turns on. There's our menu to install Big Sur. And it's going through the OpenCore installer. It just takes a bit to get through all of this. And there's our Apple logo and this is a problem. So I'm going to interrupt the install just to show you what I did to fix that problem. First thing we have to do is get into the EFI folder. And to do that, we use the Mount EFI uh, application. We go into number one, which is the Hack Z490, which is our main um, drive, and put in our password. And then you'll see the EFI folder open. So inside that folder is our um, config file. And the way you get into that is use proper tree. So we get into the EFI folder, get into the config file, and go down to kernel and quarks. And in quarks, we need to find XHCI port limit and set that to false. 
so that it doesn't restrict the uh, USB port discovery on the install. And then save our file and close it. Then we can eject the EFI folder and restart the computer. So let's try this again. Here's the boot up screen and the installer. And let's see if we can get through this. Yeah, there's the install screen. I did speed up the video quite a bit because the install part takes about a half an hour. And the final setup and account settings. And there it is, Big Sur installed. Pretty much done, just gotta install it in the workstation. See you on the next one.